All right, what's up? Today I'm going to show you how you can make a Detroit style beat. So something like Babytron, Stan Will, you could even throw like Punch Made Dev in there. You know, those fast paced Detroit style beats. So let's get right into it. You're going to want your project at a fast tempo. I choose around 170 to 210 ish for those fast hi hats and fast piano melodies. So I started off with this 808. on I made these kicks behind the 808 so we got sounds like that uh, also if you want a Detroit kit I recommend looking for the TJX6 kit you can find it on Reddit a couple other places but anything Detroit because it kind of has a unique 808 sound I think spins would work though which most people have spins moving on open hat this is just to kind of fill some space got it right here then hi-hats remember your hi-hats are fast so because you're at a fast tempo you can easily just do add to every two steps right here sometimes they're rolled like but i didn't roll them in this beat just every two then your clap i'll show you what my claps look like on here just a basic clap it sounds the same as, you know, most beats. It's just going to be a little faster. Something else you can do is add on your three and your, what is this, six, seventh, right here, three and seven, counter snares, so just other claps. You don't have to. You can do a different sound effect, too. So there's your claps, hi-hats, open hat, kicks, and 808s. Moving on. Counter snare, this is what I was just talking about. I have it really quiet though. Already coming together pretty well, but we need a melody. I added a synth right here just for background noise. After that, I did my high octave piano. That's going pretty quick. So we got right here. I used Addictive Keys, which is a, it's not a stock plugin, but it sounds really good for stuff like this. You could use FL Keys for free right here. FL Keys. Any piano should work like this. If you don't know theory, I recommend you click right here on this music note and then right click it and pick your scale and your root note and then from here it's gonna walk you see how you're missing some notes like you can't go on f7 so here's what we have so far with everything another thing i didn't mention was my piano so on addictive keys i routed it to four so on my, on my mixer track you can see piano right here I put an EQ on it, so I kind of changed the frequencies a little bit to make it sound how I wanted it to. You can see I also put a reverb on there, but I turned it off. I ended up not liking it. I used a different reverb in Addictive Keys. But that echo, to make it sound more in the background, make it fill more space in the audio is what you're looking for. So find a way to get it in the background of your audio so that someone can rap over it. The last part is to make an intro. So I made a new pattern. that by right clicking tempo and I hit new automation clip and you can see it speed up right here track three this is speed right here and then I have reverb turning off right at the end and then right after that I have the octave go right back up for when the rapper would start so I have that you can see me put 808s in it too Just because they couldn't take a lot. Just none of them stupid hoe. I ain't even have a plan B. 
I took it, ate the shrooms, also high, I need a Zanny. Got a Glock on my hip, and then you know it got a green beam. I just sold somebody some NyQuil, and I told him it was straight lean. Some junkie, some salt, and I told him it was meth. I'm just fucking on the baddest bitch, but I'm running out of breath. I'm an innocent gangbanger, no tattoo on my chest. I've been tweaking all week, goddammit, I think I need a rest. I'm on par with Baby Trump, but goddammit, I'm still broke. Yeah, I need another fan.